Score continues to make progress towards its full-year targets, but its third quarter was hit by a larger-than-expected catastrophe loss load, as the reinsurance firm dealt with impacts from Hurricane Florence, Typhoon Jebby, Typhoon Makud and other events. Analysts estimated SCOR's Q3 2018 catastrophe losses at somewhere around the 210 million euros mark based on its revelation of a 16.5% catastrophe loss ratio for the quarter, versus earned premiums. The insurer said that Typhoon Jebby resulted in a pre-tax loss of 105 million euros, Hurricane Florence 50 million euros and Typhoon Maku 22 million euros, which alongside other attritional catastrophe and weather losses resulted in the 16.5% hit to the quarter. While above analyst expectations, it's important to note that the majority of reinsurance firms are expected to suffer above expectation losses for Q3. SCOR's third quarter 2018 operations delivered 80 million euros of net income for the firm, which while considerably up on the hurricane hit prior years minus 267 million euros, is still below where equity analysts had estimated it would be, a consensus estimate of around 105 million euros. The catastrophe activity is said to be the difference, but this time around the losses are largely manageable by SCORE without calling on too much of its retrocessional reinsurance protection, whereas 2017 saw a significant retro benefit to the results. SCORE also offset the catastrophe losses with a 60 million euros reserve release from certain longer-tailed lines, which helped to boost the profitability of Q3. The property and casualty reinsurance combined ratio for the quarter was 98%, would have been 99.5% without the reserve release. The expense ratio for the P. Score delivered net income of 342 million euros for the first nine months of 2018, a significant increase from the 25 million euros in the prior year. Return on equity, RO, for the first nine months came out at 7.6%. Normalized, so without the impact of U.S. Tax laws, net income would have reached 405 million euros and RO was 8.9%, which the company noted or both higher than SCOR's targets set out in its vision in action plan. Dennis Kessler, Chairman. Excluding the impact of the U.S tax reform, the group has exceeded the targets set out in the plan, vision in action, despite the numerous natural catastrophes that took place across various regions in the third quarter. This performance bears witness to the relevance of our strategy, which is based on a controlled risk appetite, a disciplined underwriting policy and an effective capital shield. The group is in very good shape and well on track to meet the targets of vision in action. Read more on SCOR's results announcement over at our sister publication, Reinsurance News.